So I'm now joined by AFC Porchester manager Graham Ricks, who has seen his side beat Petersfield Town 3-1 to progress to the Hampshire Senior Cup semi-finals. Impressive win. Uh, yeah, it was a, a difficult game. They're a good side, Petersfield, and uh, they'll probably be in our division next year, I should think. And I thought they'd give a good shine on themselves. Really difficult conditions, you know, the wind, the state of the pitch. But, you know, we were stuck at it and we were organised and determined. And uh, I know there was a sending off as well for one of your players, Simon Stone. Was it a sending off offence for yourself? Oh, not for me, but I mean, I'm going to say that. But <laughs> uh, I think he won the ball. He's not that kind of lad, Simon. You know, he's, he's a good old lad, an honest boy. So a little bit harsh and it was just getting a little bit naughty at times. But, you know, all in all, great win for us. I know you mentioned the weather conditions. It was powdery rain for the full 90 minutes. Yeah, I mean, that's our pitch ruined now for the rest of the season, I would imagine. But... Uh, difficult through the middle you just couldn't play you couldn't run with it came over your boots the mud it's a bit like when I played in the 70s as you reminded me yeah <laughs> uh, but you know scoring an early goal as we did I think that did us a world of good and I think really we deserved to go through we had some good chances do you feel the first minute goal for Porchester killed the game off instantly or do you feel that there's actually a time that Petersfield could get back into it I think to be honest although it's always great to score we didn't play particularly well first half. I think we could have done a lot better. Uh, and we created chances, first half especially. I thought we had some good situations. We didn't make the most of them, trying to walk it in the net. But I can't really remember our keeper. I think he made one save from a back pass that he made a great save at, but there wasn't really trouble through the night. I think there's more saves for short, actually, for Petersville Town. For Petersville Town, actually, Simon Woods had quite a few good chances and he scored tonight as well. Yeah, he did. I mean, he's, he's always a threat, Woodsy. You know, he's, he's got pace and knows what he's doing in front of goal. He actually had a great situation to make it 4-1, which would have made it much calmer for us because they always think they're still in with a chance at 3-1. But, you know, the lads, again, it's, it's a couple of weeks now since we played, so a little bit of rustiness there, but... They came through it and worked hard. Can't ask any more. You've had quite a lot of games postponed. How have you coped with that in terms of fitness? Uh, we're quite lucky. We've got a facility at a local school, a 3G pitch, which we train on. So the boys have been training and working hard. Kept them up like that, but there's nothing like match football for us. Fantastic. And lastly, I was going to say, teams that have gone through tonight are Gosport, who have beaten AFC Bournemouth Development Squad 2-0. And Basingstoke Town beat Whitchurch 2-1. Hamilton Waterloo, who went through on Monday, a 3-0 win over Farnborough. You're in the mix of all three there. Who do you fancy? Well, there's three big lads there. You know, uh, whoever we play is going to be a tough game. But to be fair, you expect that semi-final of any cup. Uh, but we'll hopefully give a good show of ourselves, no matter who we play against. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Graham. Cheers. You're welcome. Cheers, Sam. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you.